I've got some notes here. These notes are basically headlines. What do I mean? What do I mean by headlines? Well, headlines, I, I have unusual things happen to me periodically. I will have like an, a dream or a, a vision or a trance or something happen, and I'll see a newspaper come to me, and I'll look at the top of the newspaper, and it will tell me, I will read the headlines, and sometimes it, it tells me like a month, or it may even tell me a day. Sometimes it tells me a year, but it won't, I won't remember the month or the day. And so I don't, I'm not saying that the headlines I'm about to read to you are going to happen in the same time frame as the perfect storm by the year 2020. I, I don't know, so I can't tell you what I don't know. I'm just letting you know, here are headlines that I have read that came from heaven, and the Lord revealed them through headlines like in the newspaper. For example, one of the, one of the headlines that I, I saw was everything was kind of a black background. I saw a newspaper coming to me like this, and it came and it, and it got, I don't know, several, a few feet away from me, and it stood up on its, on its edge like this. So I saw one half of the newspaper like folded in half. So I couldn't see the whole newspaper, just the headlines at the top of the newspaper. So I get, I get headlines from heaven about things we're going to be reading in newspapers uh, around the United States and, and even around the world in, in some cases. So I thought I ought to do that. I, and I did this because I, um, I have not released most of these at this time. I've been waiting, waiting for the right moment, waiting for the release of the Spirit to do that. I believe that I had that. I, I had this, this uh, nudge, I would say, a nudge from the Holy Spirit to, to do this at this particular time. I'm not sure exactly why. Maybe one or more of these things are going to happen in the, in the fairly, fairly near future, within months maybe. So maybe that's it. But I also feel an urgency to, to tell you this. I, and I've told you this before, and I really, I'm, I'm saying it again. Um, I don't want to scare anybody because God has everything in his hand, and he wants to get our attention. He wants to get this nation's attention in particular, and he wants to get the world's attention. He will use this nation to get the world's attention. So we've talked a little bit about, about things that I feel like you need to have. For example, I've, I've told my staff this. I've told my staff, you need to be able to prove the debt that you owe, meaning if you, what house payments you've made, you need to be able to prove, and you need to have a, a, a not... Um, right now, let's just, you don't get your checks back. Most of you, I don't think many of you, if any of you, will get your checks back at the end of the month like we used to do. But you'll get a, a bank statement back telling you the check number that w was received and so on. You need to, ha so you can't take your check and prove you, you paid something. And so let's just say you have a car payment and that car payment is due, or maybe two car payments that are due be because you made one and you made another one, but they have no record. Somehow, and what's going to be happening in, in, in the future, they're going to demand that you prove you have made the payments that you have made. So you need to have up-to-date proof printed from their website that you made your house payment, you made your car payment, you made that loan payment. If, if, that's, if you're making payments, you need to be able, able to prove that you've done that. And again, you won't have checks to make for that proof. So you need to have, you need to have something in your hand that's a hard copy from them that tells you you made that payment. I have that. I have every two weeks I go in and I make a copy of what I paid in my bank because I have online payments that I do and so on. And so I just make, I make that list and it tells me and it shows me right there, you made your house payment and you paid your utilities and so on. But in addition to that, I've, I've told my staff, you need to have cash, preferably for a month, if not a month, then at least two weeks. You need to have cash, not in the bank. You need to have it somewhere that you can get to it. You need to have at least two weeks worth of food, if not longer. I would prefer at least a month worth of food. And even then I would say, if not longer. But then some of you, some of you, you'd store food and that's not what God's telling you to do. Some of you get into a fear issue. That's not what God is saying either. He's just simply saying, he wants you to have wisdom, and he'll tell you what to do if you'll listen to what he wants. You need to have batteries, because if the electricity goes out for a prolonged period of time, you're going to go through batteries like crazy, and you'll need to have batteries that, uh, to replace the batteries that go out. And you'll need to know what type of batteries you need. So I want to read you some of the headlines that I have not read uh, publicly. Uh, maybe I've alluded to publicly a few of these, not very many. 
But it's, um, again, I just feel pressed. I believe pressed by the Holy Spirit to, to do this. Again, I, I wish I could tell you when they're going to happen. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I may have seen a date, but it didn't tell me whether it's July 17th of this year or next year or September of this year or next year or the following year. Uh, I don't know. So, so it's not to, not to cloud things. I'm just going to leave it simply as headlines that I have, that I have seen. And here, here's some of them. And, and if I can, the bylines that go along, along with them. First headline, it's not, this is not the order in which they came, by the way. So I, I put them down in the order that they came to my mind, but they are not the order in which they came to me. And they are certainly not the order in which they're going to be fulfilled. So I just ought to say that as well for your sake. Too big to fail fails. Nation's bank being pushed. And I don't, know, I don't know how all this is going to happen, but because of certain bank failures, a national bank is going to be pushed. Some of you probably have seen the episode here on Beyond where I talked about a dream that I had where, I believe it was last spring or the summer, where I told about a, being inside of a senator's body or a congressman's body Having my arm around, the, uh, uh, the president comes up, and I have my arm around him, and he's very skinny, he's very thin, and, and he talks about, about funding drying up. And he also, and, and he, said, he said, you need to do what you're going to do quickly because funds are, are going to dry up. And then I, I found myself inside of a Bank of America building, and, that, and the Bank of America building was bustling, and I talked to a vice president there, and a loan officer, vice president loan officer, and he was talking to me, and, and uh, things were going well. Like 20, 20 tellers at the, at the windows, a big BOA building, and, and lots of stuff going on inside there. Then the scene changes, and I find myself back in that building. And when I find myself back in the building, I, I look for the loan officer, and the loan officer, I said, how's things going? And he goes, well, um, we're not too busy. That's good. And we're not too busy, and that's bad. Scene changes again, and I go back into that same BOA building. I find myself opening the door, walking into the same BOA building. And this time I, I look for my friend, the loan officer, but he's not there. And he had quit to go to work for his, found out he had quit to go to work for his family business, thought it was an opportune time, business was down. But I noticed that just like half the number of loan officers and half the number of tellers at the BOA window, at the teller windows, so that scene changes, and I'm, I'm back in BOA, the same BOA building again. This time, there's like one loan officer and one teller and a lot of empty desks and a lot of empty windows. And I go, oh, no, it's happened. Now, that, hap that dream came to me in May of this, this past year. Before I had that dream, I saw this headline, Too Big to Fail Fails, Nation's Bank Being Pushed. I believe what's going to happen is they're going to nationalized Bank of America, and it will change the entire banking system uh, in the United States, perhaps in the world, when that happens. It will set the precedent for the next phase of, of economic things. Um, next, uh, next headline that I, 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 not the next one I saw, but the next headline is this, is the infrastructure of America beyond repair, meaning it takes so much money to repair the deferred maintenance that we've had. We don't have the money to do the deferred maintenance any longer. Another headline I saw was New United America being pushed. It was like there had to be something economically done with Canada, United States, Mexico, and I'm not sure about South America, maybe. I just am not sure. But for sure, Mexico... Uh, the United States and Canada, an economic issue had arisen, a worldwide economic issue, and our solution, or the solution that was being pushed, was that uh, we become almost like, instead of the United States, it would be United America. Uh, and I'm not saying that's the name of it, but that's, uh, that's the headline that I, that I saw, New United America Being Pushed. Another headline I saw was, Blight in Grains Spreading. Blight in grain spreading. There was, and, and it was like, there was almost um, 
you would think one blight was done and another blight would hit a different type of grain. More than one grain was affected. Another headline, drought continues to cause prayer to rise. So drought continues to cause prayer to rise. Cyber attack cripples grid, multiple collapses with restart efforts. So cyber attack cripples grid, multiple collapses with restart efforts. Don't know what that, where that was. Uh, I don't know what grid that was. I just know that was a headline. Another headline was loss of identity, the cost to belong to the new Euro community. The loss of identity, the cost to belong to the new Euro community. Another headline was radical solutions create shockwaves. Administration says we ran out of answers. So radical solutions create shockwaves. Administration says we ran out of answers. So it's like they they tried everything they needed to do, so they had to do something they'd never thought about doing, never thought really that was that wise. I'm not sure, but it was obviously shocking to people what the solutions or what they went on went on to do. Another issue of, of drought, but this one said record high temps accompany record drought swept south. Record high temps accompany record drought swept south. Another headline, demand for classic seeds skyrocket. Demand for classic seeds skyrocket. Another headline, derivative panic hits global markets. Derivative panic hits global markets. Another headline, Food prices lead nations escalating inflation woes. Food prices lead nations escalating inflation woes. And then this one kind of, this headline kind of came just not that long after that, and it said this, Cisco and Kraft considers guards on delivery trucks as food nears 40% of the family budget. Cisco and Kraft considers guards on delivery trucks as food nears 40% of the family budget. And a little bit of what I remember reading, I, I didn't get to read much about it, but a little bit of what I remember reading had something to do with food was so expensive, people would, um, people would actually rob food trucks while they were, the driver would be in delivering the food into the store. They, they would uh, rob food trucks, not, and, it's, and they would lock, they tried locking the trucks with padlocks, so the driver had to come out and unpadlock the truck every time. But then they were also beating the truck driver and robbing the food truck and also using some type of a, a torch or a saw or something that while the driver was in, then the, they had this lock mechanism that I guess was hard to get to, but they just cut a hole in the side of the truck. They just cut a hole in the side of the truck and went into the side of the truck through the metal of the truck and took the food out while the driver was delivering, delivering the food. So Cisco and Kraft apparently one day are going to consider guards on their delivery trucks. Another headline I saw that caused me great concern was simply this. It said, big regulations hit small banks. Big regulations hit small banks. Another one said, simply said, credit markets freeze up. Credit markets freeze up. And then the last one I'm going to read tonight was this. It said, the new face of Robin Hood. Flash mobs loot rich neighborhoods. Flash mobs loot rich neighborhoods. So those are headlines that I felt I needed to start sharing.